If I break these walls here, what do you think will happen to the sheep? Well, obviously, they'll fly everywhere. But why is this? Well, the obvious answer is entropy in the second law of thermodynamics. The second law states that the universe tends to move to randomness, and entropy is simply a measurement of how spread out your energy is, or less formally, how random your energy is. Low entropy describes a state of low randomness with condensed energy, and high entropy describes a highly random state. And according to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy increases as time passes. But what's weird is that entropy is not really a force. Nothing is pushing the sheep into spreading out, they just do it. And even if the sheep didn't have hitboxes, they would naturally spread out on their own. And if I wanted to decrease the randomness, I would have to exert energy to compact these sheep, and the exerted energy would spread across the universe and further increase entropy. No matter what you do, no matter what you try, entropy always increases. So the most important question is why? Why does this law exist? Why is randomness seemingly the only outcome? Well, the simple answer is that energy moves. The places that energy can be are called microstates. So for this example, microstates represent any block that a sheep could stand on. But you may notice that there's way more black spaces than white spaces. This means that when the energy moves randomly, there's a higher chance that it will be in a disordered fashion because there's more microstates outside of the center. To be exact, 168 of 169 times, energy will be on the black squares. But still, that means there's still a chance that sheep would just be clumped in the center, right? Why don't situations like this occur every once in a while, even if it's only 1 in 100 times? Well, as you add more sheep, you add more microstates. For all the sheep to be in the center at once, the odds decrease dramatically. With just four sheep, the odds of all of them being in this square drop to less than one in a billion. That's why a single sheep in the middle of the pen isn't weird, but all of them together would be. And this principle drives everything in our lives. It even describes why objects that are hot cool down when exposed to air. Simply, the air molecules in the environment collide with a warm, and energy is transferred from one to the other. You can think of this collision as two pens lying right next to each other. Lava has more sheep in its pen because it is hotter, while air has less. And when the air makes a connection with the lava, the two gates open. This means, technically, there's a very small chance that the warm lava heats up while colliding with the air, since there's a very small chance that the sheep will move towards the packed pen. However, in the real world, we never see air heat up lava, and that's because of entropy. It's trillions of times more likely that the sheep, or energy, will spread out, causing both the air and the lava to eventually reach the same temperature. But upon seeing this, scientists came to a really scary conclusion. If energy slowly spreads out, then that means, with enough time, we will reach maximum entropy with all the energy evenly spread out across the universe. Everything that is hot would cool down, and everything that was cool would warm up until everything was the same temperature. With everything becoming the same temperature, there will be no transfer of energy, the universe will become stagnant, and all reactions will cease to exist. Stars will burn out, the universe will go dark, and then life will just end.